yeah, yeah. What's up, man? What's up? Listen, man, we got some. It's going to be, look here, we a king. This going to be easy. It ain't nothing but a chicken wing. You know how they got them bulletproof vests for the Ukraine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know in America, man, I think they said $80 billion. Let's put some more. It's all had $100 billion. Ukraine, what if they're fighting, man? They be fighting and stuff. Pooty poo, you know, Putin over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Look, they sitting up here. They got some bulletproof vests. That's what I'm saying, dog. That's what I'm saying. We can roll up in there and we can go ahead and steal us a whole bunch of them. And we can go ahead and sell them the next time we go ahead and pull our caper. Man, they ain't finna come for us. We're gonna have that bulletproof vest, though. You know what I'm saying, my ninja? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go. I don't care if it's government property or not. All I know is we know we can go bad, Mr. Come on, let's go. Is you with it or what? Just when you think, just when you think you've seen it all, not in dusty fashion. Look at him on the screen. Look on the screen. This might be the real leader right here. These two. He's he's seen have a little smile. He like yeah 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 yeah. What's in that bag, boo-boo? Let the news tell you. Check it out. Fair use. I, I can't. Find the people who stole hundreds of donated bulletproof vests in the East Village. Those vests were reportedly heading to Ukraine. The NYPD says at least six people broke into the headquarters of the Ukrainian Congress Committee on 2nd Avenue. This is back in March. Loaded the vests into three different vehicles, including a white van, and drove off. If you have any information that... And there's the white van. You took all those bulletproof vests. Why would you need that? Th that's what I don't know. Now, I can see why the women and children in the B.C. might need the bulletproof vest. That that's who needs the vest. I hate to say it. The black women and children need the bulletproof vest. And if you're a black man that's a business owner, you're not a dusty, you're trying to build, Lord knows you need one too. Dusties will rob, but they don't want a job. Somebody tell me, since when is a bulletproof vest? Just stop and think about it. Is that a common thing in, in the hood? So do you think you're really going to fence this to hold on to it and wear it? And at some point, you're not going to be found. It's a matter of time. It is a matter of time. And then, if and when they make their arrest, you'll be hearing, that's my son. He ain't never done nothing. That's part of his outfit. He got it at the men's warehouse. They be selling them all day long at Macy's. And she lied to the end that he done bought it at Macy's. That's my son. He ain't never know. I ain't never know him still. He stole your purse last month. Remember when the EBT car was missing? Well, that's the only time now. Really? These are grown men. Not silly teenagers, which still does not, you know, validate it. These are grown behind men. This might be some this might be somebody's daddy. These are probably fathers, unfortunately. Again, Dusty's were raw, but you know they don't want a job. I look forward to your comments. I even a bulletproof vest is not safe. As old people say, they were still shortening out of a cake in a mouth.